Hi friends, we are going to draw a wolf. Yes, this animal, this wild animal, is fascinating. Well, we'll start with a pencil of 2B. Okay, we begin making the shapes, the basic shapes. This is the shape in the middle of the head of our wolf. You see, I don't make any um, continue line, no, only I make very uh, many, many short lines to suggest it is hair. Wolves are animals with a lot of hair and we must suggest it from the very beginning of our drawing. Now we are going with the eye, with an eye. It is like an almond, yeah, an oval. Eyes are very important in every drawing of, a, of an animal, because are points that attract our attention from the very beginning. We must be very careful with that part. Okay, I make that saves going down until the nose of our wolf. As you see, I begin drawing without any any uh, detail. I make uh, shapes very general at first. I'll be detailing the drawing uh, further and further from the beginning until the end. Okay. This is a long video. Okay. Uh, it lasts 29 minutes. But I think it is it is good that you see everything I do to draw this wolf. Okay, as you see, I take the shapes of the of the eye to place everything around it. I have begun this drawing with a pencil of medium hardness. In this case, it's a 2B, okay? Then, when I finish this part, I'll use a 6B pencil, and then I'll use an 8B, a very soft pencil that draw a very, very dark. As you see, I feel uh, the nose with parallel lines, okay? I don't um, press too much the pencil on the paper, okay? You must caress the pencil, not, not press too much, okay? Always caressing the, pen, the paper, it is important. The pupils, yes, the pupils must be very definite, okay? There are few definite lines in this drawing, but the eyes are that, are that lines, must be very definite. Okay, now I feel that That sound was my dog, Fluffy. Okay, as you see, I refill this place with black. 
I'm drawing by the side of uh, of my window, and the brightness of the sun is making appear the drawing uh, clear clearer than it is than really it is. But it's it is very dark. Okay. I cross lines to achieve a more profound black. The nose of a wolf must be definite in below, but not in the upper place. Okay, the mouth. I'm just suggesting now not entering in, in the details, only suggesting. I make hair with many discontinued, many lines, not continuous. Okay, suggesting there is hair there. Always do uh, draw hair in an animal or a person. You must suggest its presence. Not draw every every single one hair. It will, it is impossible. You must suggest what you are doing. Okay. We are like magicians. We suggest there is something that isn't there. Then we don't have to draw any single thing. We must suggest these things are there. Okay, I go for an ear. One common mistake when people draw wolves is making ears very sharp and very, very high. Please look at many pictures of wolves to study the shapes, the real shapes of the wolves ears okay obvious oh, well I'm drawing this wolf from my mind okay but not because I have a very wide imagination but because I have draw many wolves in my life and now I I really know what I want to do and where to place it's, it's thin, okay? But if you want to, play, to practice, you must uh, look at many pictures of wolves, okay? Look at Google, go to the internet, and uh, look at many, many pictures of wolves, draw them. You may draw any pictures you find on the internet for uh, learning purposes. You never can draw any picture of internet or anywhere for commercial, uh, for achieve a profit, okay? But for uh, practice and for learning, you can use any single picture there is on internet. The law is is such as it, such thing. And then. You may see at Google Images many pictures of wolves or other animals and practice uh, drawing them until you achieve uh, a real knowledge of that animal. I did that for many years and that's the, that's the result. Okay, more hair here. You see, the ears, the ears of a wolf are not triangles, are not perfect triangles, as I see uh, many st students do. I suggest uh, a shape of hair here. Okay, little more hair. Wolves are magical creatures. Many, many, many legends are inspired on them. From werewolves, wolves, 
to many fairy tales. Why, I don't know. But I know wolves are being with humankind for a long time. In fact, our dogs, all our dogs, are descendants or wolf, of wolves. 15,000 years ago, there were no dogs at all. All our dogs are descendants or wolves that humans are, have uh, created. Uh, yes, uh, take care of them. Selecting each one. Okay, more saddle here to remark the bones. You see, I don't, I don't use much the eraser in this drawing. I'll use in the eye, in the eyes. But you must not be afraid to use erasers. Erasers are only a tool of drawing, like maybe pencil or paper. Don't be afraid. I don't hear anyone says that using erasers is a bad thing, because it is not. It is foolish not to use a tool when you have it. Okay, I remark a little more thing here. Okay, okay, okay. As you see, I'm very careful not to make all the lines that suggest a uh, hair. In the same direction, they are all. Um, these lines are um, similar, but not equal. In other words, uh, you must repeat the pattern, but changing it every every, every time. Okay. More shadow here. I'm just about to finish the first part of this drawing. Okay, more hair in the side of the of the head, the neck, and suggesting shapes of hair. Why I do this in the in this way? Because a wolf is a wild creature, its hair is not cut with scissors, it is and they grow wild as the wolf. Okay, this may be the, the drawing itself, we don't need anything, but I want to work it further, okay? If you want to stop here the video, it's fine, but I'm going to work it more. Now I'm going to use a brass, okay, in this way, disseminating graphite brass strokes, strokes, okay. Very carefully. Don't use it too much. I have not said, but I'm, I'm using not uh, artistic paper now. This is a uh, eight eighty grams paper, normal photocopy paper, because it is cheap. When I'm practice, and every artist when is, it is, they are practicing art, use the cheaper paper they can find. We only use real artistic paper when we know exactly what we are going to do and we are going to make a masterpiece okay but when you are practicing you must use the cheaper paper you can afford okay 
as you see, I, I continue with my brass. And now I take my eraser. I give it the shape. This is a more, more I don't know how to say in English, but this eraser can be achieved the shape you want. It is uh, sticky and you absorb the graphite and the paper you see is clear. Okay, more light at the at the at the eyes, the nose and white parts. Why I say about the paper? Because if you are thinking that your materials are very expensive, you cannot uh, practice freely. If you make mistakes or you must uh, use many, 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 many sheets of paper to practice and they are very expensive, maybe a moment you stop practicing because it is very expensive for anyone. Now I'm going to use a 4B pencil. It's darker than the 2B and I use it to remark dark parts. It is always necessary in a realistic uh, drawing to use um, several um, harness of pencils, okay? From beginning with the hard and ending with the soft. I, be, I, be gone, I began with a 2B pencil it's a medium harness and I'll finish with that 8 pencil ok as you see I'm remarking dark places and then again I'm not pressing the paper I'm caressing the paper with my pencil, caressing. Remember this every single time you draw anything, not to press the paper. Okay, one is dark, now I begin with the other. Now I'm giving more detail and, press, and I pay more attention to anything. Work very carefully the eyes, its size, its place, giving it light and contrast. We see everything because there are light and shadows. Without any light and shadows, we couldn't see anything. In your drawings, make sure there are contrasts, there are shadows. And there, are, and there are lights. In other words, parts of the paper white and parts of the paper black. Okay? Okay, the eyes are going well. Don't be afraid of, of making mistakes, okay? Mistakes are part of the learning process. Now I'm going to pay attention to the nose. In the lower part of the nose, I make more sharp edges, but in the upper part of the nose, I don't make any edges at all because they in, in a wolf, in a real wolf, they blend with his hair. Okay? But not the, not the lower part. The lower part is on the air and it's very definite. I don't know if it, if you can, can understand me. I'm trying to speak as clearly as I can. Okay? Very dark, with light and shape. 
don't make a ball black like in cartoons, okay? Now, the mouth. Saddle here and here. Separating this part and suggesting Okay, more hair here. You know, drawing is just suggesting all the time. There is really nothing here but graphite, graphite on over on a paper. More hair here. More shadow. Now, when I finish with this pencil, I'll use a very dark pencil, an 8B. Okay. Do you like it? It's going well, I think. more dark in the internal part of the ear. If you like uh, my this tutorial with animals, if you like more tutorials me drawing animals, uh, may, you may suggest me in the comments part, okay? Okay, little more detail here. If this video is too long for you, you may go to the part you wanna go with the bar behind below, the bar displacement bar. And again, if I commit many any mistakes with the language please uh, tell me, send me messages and tell me how it says in English, okay? Thank you. And if you like these videos and you like learn more things, please subscribe in the button for it. Okay, more shadow here. I'm going from one part to the other part all the time, as you see. I don't stop in only one part until I finish, because in this way I'm giving more balance to all the drawing. Okay? If I stay in one place, uh, an ear for example, and I stay there for minutes and minutes and minutes until it is finished, Maybe um, the other parts of the drawing appear unbalanced. With okay, little more here. Okay, hmm. okay, and remember. Always begin your drawing without any uh, details. Okay? You are giving details as you are advancing in your drawing. Use as many as many uh, hardness or softness of, of pencils as you wish, giving your drawing more interest. Okay, a little more here. I remark the shadow of this part of the hair. Uh -huh. A little more here. Now, okay, 
beautiful animal, I think. Okay. Little more in the neck. Oh, oh oops. <laughs> I take my pencil so softly that <laughs> it, it has fly. <laughs> Remember, caress the paper, caress the paper, no, don't press. Okay? If you press the paper, you fill it with graphite and then you cannot continue drawing on it but if you caress it it is not filled and you may be drawing uh, once and once layer after layer okay okay more hair here giving it more character Now this layer, this layer is almost finished. Now I'll make some details. Okay. Uh huh. I like it. Now I take my 8B pencil and make only details with it. Details very dark like the eyes in fact if you remark all your drawing with this pencil it will be uh, dark but not interesting it is interesting if you only use it for details you see remember dark parts um, are going far away from our eyes, from our sight, and things white, parts white, are more closer to our sight. Okay, I'm just finishing a little more. Remember. If you like these videos, please subscribe and tell your friends. I'll see you next week with another tutorial. Thank you for watching. Little more here. That's all, friends. Bye.